Hello everybody, this is Amalia from Garden of Designs and today we're making a bunny, a decoration made out of felt in the shape of a bunny. It is done uh, in three parts, so uh, even if you have a smaller hoop, you can still do it. And uh, let's jump right into it. We use uh, stiff felt, but you can also use uh, light felt. So you can see first it made the contour of the legs and then we added the uh, applique fabric for the paws. We chose this uh, rainbow, very, very colorful pattern because we wanted the bunny to be very, very cute. So uh, here you can see we're cutting uh, the excess fabric from the um, applique. Please try to cut as close as you can to the trim, but not to cut the stitches. This part will be covered. Oh, here's a little hand. That's my son. He's been helping me with this project. So. Uh, yeah, his hand will uh, show sometimes during this video. Now you can see the machine does the satin stitches around the applique and it will cover the edges so it doesn't fray. And here is the second heart. We thought he will be cuter. She will be cuter if uh, we made a little heart on the paws. And now the rest of the embroidery on a fast stitch. And when it's all done, we just flip it and add another piece of felt, tape it in place so it stays and doesn't move, return the hoop to the machine and do the final contour. I only had the black um, thread for uh, the bobbin, but I highly recommend that you use the same color. For example, this is white. Uh, if you use white, it will look better. And now we remove the tape and then return the hoop to the machine so it will do the final satin stitch. You can go ahead and trim the excess fabric before this final step. I prefer the, to cut out the, the fabric after. So I let it do the satin stitch and you will see later I'm taking it out and cutting. And here we are, take the legs out. Yeah, the kid is playing in the background. <laughs> and uh, here you can see very carefully, I cut around the setting stitch very um, carefully not to actually cut the stitches. And here I cut uh, very close to the seam. And then we started the second part, which is the carrot. And after the contour on the stabilizer, we added the felt. And did another contour stitch, so um, the felt stays in place. And of course, the placing stitches for the bunny's hands. He's holding on to his beloved carrot, so these are his hands. And I'm adding some felt for the hands. Please make sure that your pieces are um, your pieces of fabric are big enough because for this one, the top one for me was a little short, but. Uh, I'll have to, to figure how to save this project and hide that uh, in the end. So I just removed the tape and cut around the um, hands 
so uh, the excess fabric uh, is uh, taken out as you do for any other applique. And when you are done, all you need to do is to take the hoop back to the machine and do the next step, which is just um, some decorative stitches for the carrot. And then it's the word Easter. If you have an embroidery software, you can add uh, something else. Maybe you want to write the name of, the, of your family or initials and hang it on the door or something. And here you can see I'm adding the back of the carrot, just like I did with the legs. I uh, taped it uh, in place and it will do the final contour. And now I'm going to um, do the stitching for where the legs will be placed. This is a three part design and it's added step by step. So here you can see I'm cutting the felt only where I did that uh, placing stitch for the legs. Gotta remove all that tape. It's way easier to remove it now than to keep it. And I will do the same thing on the back, so I will have a clean uh, stitch. And then I will place the, the legs as close as I can, exactly on the same line, and do the stitch to keep them in place. And then it will also do a zigzag stitch to help it stay there. And after all this, you can see uh, here, it's all stitched down. And now it will do the setting stitch around the carrot. And this setting stitch will cover the joining between the legs and the carrot. So now your two parts have become one. And you will notice on the top part, there is uh, a little part uh, that's not covered by satin because we will do the same for the head. So here I decided to cut the felt around the hands. So uh, <clears throat> it is cut before the, the satin stitch, but uh, you could just leave it like this and go with the satin stitch and cut it when you when you do the final cut out. It all depends on how you prefer it done. You can see I did the same for the front and for the back. And now it's going to do the satin stitch around the hands. And this is the final step for this part. Then I will take it out and cut out the carrot. As I said, I did take out the carrot and I'm going to trim the, the felt all around the carrot very careful not to cut uh, some uh, parts of the leg or to snip the, the stitches.
and this is it I again I'm going to cut as close to that trim as possible so when I join it with the head it will have a nice and uh, neat join and here we are for the third part and the last one the bunny head of course we do the stitching on the um, stabilizer after you do this you will add a piece of felt just like you did for the other parts and it will stitch it in place with another contour after this it will do a placing stitch for the ears so you know where to place the fabric for the applique I'm using the same uh, rainbow um, fabric to match it with the legs so here you can see I'm trying to get it as straight as possible because uh, it has stripes and I'm trying to get the ears to look even these little details uh, are what makes the design uh, look great so uh, please keep them uh, in mind and after this fabric is stitched you just take it out take the hoop out and um, cut away the excess fabric all around the ears after you are done you will just go on and do the embroidery of the face the eyes the nose the mouth and everything else getting close to the end this is the placing stitch for the carrot for the bottom part of the bunny again you will align the stitch from the top stitch from the carrot to the guideline that you stitched here on the head make sure to align the um, edges and also don't forget to slow down your machine so um, you will be able to do little adjustments if you notice that the needle is going right or left so it will go exactly uh, on top of that stitch and after everything is set in place uh, you will see here I did uh, a little check to see if the um, if uh, everything oh the zigzag stitch sorry i forgot there is a zigzag stitch on top of this to hold everything down better and i added the um, the back part for the head because this is the final part i added here before the final contour and now I just wanted to check if the hand is placed correctly 
and I just uh, took it out for a second. And now it starts doing the final contour, and uh, this is uh, a thick satin stitch that goes all around. And after this is done, I will cut out the bunny. done with uh, the last part of embroidery you can take out the bunny and uh, remove the stabilizer and cut all around i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it will help you to make this kind of uh, embroidery i am planning on doing more uh, large embroidery uh, with uh, two or three parts so uh, this is only the first from this series and it is a free design so don't forget go to our website and download it from our freebies section and uh, yeah give a like if you uh, find this video helpful uh, don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and uh, hit the bell notification so you'll be among the first to find out uh, when we release new videos and uh, when we have some new free designs for you because we're always having a new freebie Thank you all for watching and um, I'll see you next time. Bye!